Yes, what is it? Um, I'm calling to say I'm sorry. Too late. There is no word like too late in a relationship, Mark. Listen, Jennifer, you're missing the whole point entirely. And what's the point? Can't you understand? I've had enough of you. Mark, listen. Fine. Maybe I was harsh walking out on you and all that. Well, maybe. Fine, maybe. Yeah, I was wrong. Okay? And that's why I'm calling to say I'm sorry. The week has been hell for me. I've come to realize how much I love you and how useless I can be without you. <laughs> Pity, Jennifer. You see, you walked out on me just exactly when I was trying to throw you out. What? Yes, sure, you did. And you saved me the whole entire exercise. Well, if you don't mind. Hello, loser. The wrong man. You are disturbing my man. My own man. Well, you've had it all for yourself, Jennifer. You take care. No. Jenny, it's not like that. But the way you landed yourself in hospital, is it worth it? Mom, love is the basic need of human nature. 
Without it, life is disrupted physically, emotionally, mentally and spiritually. Don't look at me like that. I'm just quoting a great philosopher called Carl Menninger. Now love is a form of insanity, which makes a girl fall in love and marry her boss, works for him for the rest of her life without salary. Now that is another wise man's quote. Mommy, you know Mark, he was my first and only love. How did I know I was going to be heartbroken? I understand the way you feel, my dear. But you see, the process of love is never complete without the undignified aspect of my God. I'm learning the hard way. And that is why the doctor say you should stay away from all kinds of relationships with me. Trust me, Mama, I don't need the doctor to tell me that. That's my girl. Now, the father sent me to persuade you to adhere to the doctor's instructions 100%. Hmm? Tell him I'll give 200. I like that. Don't worry, Jenny. Everything is going to be okay. Okay? That's why you come with me. It's all right. Everything is going to be fine, okay? All right. It's okay. Come on. Ah, Sandra. Daddy, good morning. Good morning, my dear. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, will I do? You're okay. <laughs> Thank you. Um, now, despite uh, Jenny's assurances, I want both of you to keep an eye on her. She must be prevented from going out unless there is absolute description of her destination. How will that be possible, Daddy? Well, you have to make it possible. And I am relying on you to do that. Daddy, but Jenny is my elder sister. How can I possibly prevent her from going out? Oh, simple. You call me the moment you suspect her planning to go out. It's no more than that. Okay, Daddy. That's simple enough. Oh, Sandra. Daddy? If I ever hear or see or find out that you are involved in any illegal stepping out, <laughs> you will not like me very much by the time I'm through with you. Is that clear? Yes, Daddy. Mm. I want to ask you something. Go ahead. Do you honestly believe I need to be caged? Cage? Yes. That's what this whole house of tasks turned into for me. Yes. That's what this whole house has turned into for me. I cannot do anything or make a move without you calling dad. Um. But the doctor said... Forget about what the doctor said. Sandra, what do you think? Honestly, Jenny, I don't think you need this bottle up, you see? So, can I go and see Esther, my friend, without you calling that? But, uh, the doctor said, forget about what the doctor said. Tell him anything. You can tell him you stepped out for a minute and by the time you go back into the house, you didn't find me. No, uh, you know, Sandra, come on. I'll do the same thing for you. Okay. I'm not preventing your mind. Thank you, cute sister. Thank you. Um, so, just as a matter of curiosity, what actually do you want to say, Stephon? 
This is the part I say, mind your business, dear. <laughs> Have believed that Mark was capable of breaking my heart. So, what actually happened? So, wait, no, so I don't think you're going to make my heart. No, I think I'm going to make it now. Why? Really? So, yeah, so much of it. I can do. I hold myself. Okay, let me this for you. <laughs> she was so crazy. Yes. Yeah, it's okay. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I've never seen Mark disregard or disrespect me in public. I was so embarrassed. But Jenny, at least you could have waited for an explanation or probably demanded for one. When we're kissing like that in front of me. You know, sometimes old flames do rekindle and, and even sparkle more than the old ones. Yeah, that was what I thought until after a week I did not hear from him and I did not see him. I understand. No, you don't understand, Esther. For the first time in my life, I actually found out how much I felt for Mark. That whole week was the most agonizing week of my life. I kept waiting for him to call. He never did. I found the courage to call him and I got the shock of my life. Now I'm being monitored in my house. Anything I do or say is reported to my father. I'm under lock and key. Jenny, I'm, I'm really sorry you have to go through all of this. It really, it's a pity. But seriously, you've got to brace up. Yeah. That's why I had to cajole my way out of the house to be here. Really? Yes. My younger sister watches over me. My younger sister. That's terrible. I understand. Maybe I should make an arrangement for you and Mark. What? That's exactly what you want me to do, isn't it? No. Jenny, listen. When a girl loves a guy as much as you do to Mark, you always have to make up. Not this girl. You're not serious, are you? If I ever set my eyes on Mark, I would drive a knife through his heart. Why are you talking like this? I passed out for the first time in my life. I had to be observed in a hospital. A psychiatrist had to examine me. And you want me to go back to such a devil? 
Never. Jennifer, yeah? What has gotten into your head? What do you mean? Why are you not picking daddy's calls? It's my phone, and I decide whose calls to pick and whose calls to ignore. You've made me lie three times to daddy now. Lie to daddy how? Yes! He's been calling to know why you've not been picking his calls. And I lied to him that you were locked up in your room. The last time he called, he asked me to give you my phone. And again, I lied that you never wanted to talk to him. But I never wanted to talk to him, so how was that a lie? How about your being in the room? I might have been. But you weren't. That's the point. Look, Jenny, that is a wrong customer to sell lies to. And you know it. Well, too bad. These lies have been sold, and he has no other option than to buy these lies. I'm not going to do this again. Not for any reason. Whatever, sir. Daddy, you're not so early today. Yes. Is she still upstairs? Yes. Yes, she's upstairs. Yes. Are you all right? Look, I want you to come downstairs with me. I have a great surprise for you. Come, let's go.
All for you. Mine? Yes, my dear. I promised myself I will get in your own car the moment you finish your NYSC. But that uh, unfortunate hospitalization delayed it. Not anymore. Yours. What use is a car to me when I can't even go out on my own? Ah. Surprise. I spoke to your doctor earlier on today. And he says to me that you are well enough to go out on your own. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> I'm jealous, Daddy. I'm jealous. I'm jealous. Sandra, yours will be waiting for you the moment you finish your NYSE. Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> Thank you. Daddy. Oh, I love you. Oh, so, you know, your mother and both of you are all I have. See, I was restricting you on doctor's orders. Thank you, Daddy. Oh, and he says, um, no male relationship for now. Yes, sir. Good. <laughs> okay. Go on, go, 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 go on, take your car. Are uh, you jealous? <laughs> I'm not. You, you can go. See me in my office later. You can. All right. Again, my dad. Check out my wife. This is my ride, Esther! Oh, 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 my oh, oh my goodness! You know, I've, I've always wanted to own a car like this. Jenny, I really do envy you. Seriously. Let me tell you the trick. What? Get yourself a hot uh -huh. That will buy you one. <laughs> it works! Trust me! This is my baby. Get it. And I'm sure he did not start the meter from the beginning. Oh, you this boys. What, what is this now? Eh? Please, madam, madam, please just go into your car. Mr. Man, go. Leave my car. Let the woman, let the woman pass now. <laughs> madam, madam, how much did you give him? 5,000 naira, and that's what his money is. Mr. Man, how much is she owing you? I don't know. My money is 7,000 naira. Eh, uh -huh, so what's your balance? 6,000 naira. His money is 5,000. No, madam, let's just, let's just give him a minute. This man is a cheat! He's a liar and he should be locked up in jail! You're embarrassing I yourself! Don't care. No, 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 no. Let's do it. I mean, it's not easy. Take it. Go. Come on, get out of here! Come on, get out of here! You should, le you should learn how to respect your customers! It's wrong! Madam, it's okay, okay?
I hope there's no problem. I'm not, madam. Okay, I, sorry. Yeah. I thought you were at the filling station to buy fuel. Oh, yes, I was, but I ran out of cash. <laughs> Because of me. Oh, no, 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 it's, it's, it's fine. I'll actually just go home and sure. get some. Yeah, I'll just get, get some. You know, I just, <laughs> I left the house to buy fuel. Okay. I had just 5,000 naira in me. Oh. Mm. Thanks a lot. <laughs> anyway, um, it's fine. Well, my, my name is Uche. And, uh, sorry, I'm a journalist. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. My name is Jennifer. Oh. People call me Jenny. Okay, Jennifer. Um, do you have a car? I have one, I just finished it, sir. Oh, Alright, excuse me, I'm coming. Let me just... Ah, you can just put your number here. Um, zero, okay. Alright, oh, that's um, Jennifer. Just put Jenny. Mm, okay, Jenny. Okay, Jenny. Alright. Okay, Jenny. Nice meeting you. Thank you very much. You can... No, it's alright. Pleasure was all mine. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you, too. Alright. You have a nice time, huh? Stay up this late. Do journalists call at this hour? <laughs> of course. Our job is round the clock. So any time goes. Are you still at work? Sure. Except you don't want to read the breaking news by morning. Interesting. Yeah, perhaps. But not as interesting as the prospect of seeing you again. Really? Sure. Does humor go with journalism, don't you? <laughs> All the way, baby. All the way. Does lunch tomorrow sound accommodating enough? <sighs> um, well, let's see how it goes. Let's see then.
You know, it feels like I know you for a year now. And we just met. Yeah, I just from my house. Extremely <laughs> and I feel extremely flat. No, I'm serious. Honestly. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And who was that? Who? The guy that just dropped you off. Are you spying on me? It's not a matter of spying on you. It's a matter of making sure dad doesn't find out. It's not what you think, kid sister. Okay? Mm. What you should see. Exactly a compliment for a man who plans to beat the next governorship election in his favor. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, I'm not gonna tell you not to say that again. So, I told you not to start. Hey mom! Um, well, this is my friend Chase, a journalist. Chase, that's my mom. Good day, ma'am. You're welcome, Chase. Yes, thank you very much, ma'am. Must say you have a very lovely home and beautiful doors. And I see where they come from.
Fathers are like with their daughters, especially their first daughters. So tell me, what would you like to drink? Drink from the look of your father. Nothing will be most appropriate. Thank you. What should come of it? I, mean, I, I was trying to shake his hand. Hey, <laughs> you know how fathers are. They're like that, especially mine. There's nothing to worry about. Really? I'm sure about it. So what would you drink? No, no, come on, Uche, you have to have something. Water. Are you sure? No. <laughs> You're crazy. Water is fine, thank you. <laughs> All right, see you. Well, young man, what tabloid do you represent? The pace setter's dad is the news editor. I see. And how long have you been with this outfit? For eight years, sir. I thought you might uh, have something to say about this. <laughs> Dad, I haven't known Michi for that long. It's all right. I'll get it. You? Well, yes, my dear. a journalist. I don't give a damn. Daddy! Now will you shut up? Chief, but how can well, you... Keep, keep, keep quiet, woman. Daddy, why? And go back to your room. Move now. Move now. Officer, I want to know why I am under arrest. When we get to the station, you find out. Shall we meet now? This is servicing a big man picking. You know what I'm saying? Get in price. <laughs> no mind now. She ain't gonna say sugar size. Officers, I didn't do anything wrong. Whatever it is that man told you is a lie. I didn't barge into his house. I didn't break into his home. His daughter invited me. That's my statement. Then write it in your statement. Put it down. Look, Mr. Ma, you're wasting our time. What this thing, Mr. Man? Daddy, 
It's not what you think. So what is it? That a man gave you 2,000 common, 2,000 naira at the petrol station? And you get carried away? I'm a woman, Dad. Oh, that makes you a fool, does it? Chief, I sincerely think you should call the police to release that young man. He is a journalist, for God's sake. And this could cause dire consequences on the long run. So because he's a journalist, I should allow him to mutilate my daughter? Daddy! Uchi and I are just friends. I told you that before. And I told you how it all started. Nothing brings a woman and a man together besides the ultimate sin. Whether it starts with the 2,000 naira at the petrol station or the beat each other, it certainly leads to that. So why don't you let it end up there before concluding and taking this drastic action? Oh, I have seen it lead to one end and I know what it cost me and I'm not waiting for another end. Look, by the time I finish with that thing that calls himself a journalist, he will take to his heels anytime he cites you. You'll have to excuse me, ladies. I have a very heavy schedule today. I need a bit of uh, rest. This bones must be rested. Good afternoon. Yeah, I guess this is Chief Douglas's resident. Yes. Please, I want to see him. Who are you, ma? I'm Evelyn. Evelyn Chu is my name. Are you Chase's mother? Yes. And it must be Jennifer. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Yes. I want you to know that I did not have anything to do directly with your son's detention. He told me. I also want you to know that he didn't do anything wrong. That's I know as well. Because my son is not the lying type. I know him. Thank you. Thank you for believing in him. Thanking me. He's my son. 
I brought him up. I know what he can do. And I know he didn't do it. But he's an extraordinary gentleman. And he's being detained for being nice. And he told me you're a wonderful girl. I think I can say that. No, it's not true. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Yeah. Who is this? I'm Evelyn. Mrs. Evelyn Chu is my name. Sir, my only son, which is detained at your police station at your orders. My God. I'm not here to beg for my son's innocence or anything like that. I have come to plead with you that you should please free him for me. Whatsoever he has done, please free him. Please. It's Chief. Chief, please. Hearken to the voice of a poor widow. Your son has been detained for eight days. Chief, I beg you. Please. Upon condition. Let me tell how we do it. Your son will have to sign an undertaking never to lay his eyes on my daughter again or to try to communicate with her through any medium for the rest of his natural life. Yes, sir. He will do that, sir. Then go home. Meet me tomorrow at the police station by 12 noon. No, Chief. I beg you. We can't let this woman go back home today without her son. Sweetheart, I am a mother, and I understand what an only child means. My dear, I can't sit down here while a poor widow's life is being shortened by undue emotional torture. Chief, I beg you, please. Daddy. Daddy, please. Uche's mother loves him just as much as you love me. Yes, Dad. All right. We'll go. But before we do, Jenny, you will sign an undertaking that you will never see, talk to this boy, you will never try to communicate with him through any medium for the rest of your natural life. Is that clear? should do that then it means I'll be discouraging someone from trying to do good. But what really is the point here? I mean would this be an ordeal if you guys hadn't exchanged numbers? If you didn't go out for lunch or or if you hadn't gone to see her in her house later? Oh, come on, you know one thing led to another and then led to something else. But, but, but Greg you know me now. I wouldn't ordinarily go to a girl's house if I, if I had something to do with her. I mean, she would naturally come visit in my own place. Uchi, the girl in question here is sorry. 
I mean, she feels so responsible for the ordeal you went through. She wants to see you. I mean, at least to No, no, mm, Greg, please don't just even go there. Not on her life. I mean, I, I signed an undertaking. Can't work. Try and be rational about this. <laughs> Hi, Uche. Hi, Uche. Don't you think you've punished her long enough? She's here to say she is sorry. You know what? You two have the building to yourselves. We'll just excuse you. Huh? Where is the gentleman in here? If you're going to punish me for my father's sins. I shouldn't be seen around you, Chenny. I took an undertaking. So did I, Uche. My dad doesn't own this world. Besides, he doesn't have to know we met. Because I don't intend to tell him. Do you? I spent eight days in that stinking cell. Where were you? Would you come on? You didn't actually expect me to go to the station where everybody from the DPO to the least person is under monthly gratification from my father. If I had done that, it would have delayed your release. Okay. Fair enough. So, what do you want from me now? I... I want to say I am sorry. So say it, that I may be on my way. Uche, you were kind to me. And I can never pay you back with the detention. The beginning is not as important. It's the end that really matters. So, let your detention be the beginning of our friendship. Why aren't we using the car? I'm just taking precautions. You know, Ocha and I can't be seen together, and I don't want to take the chance of acting a guy from the house might attract unnecessary attention. Oh, uh, I get it. Secret lovers, right? Secret friends, Esther. Friends, okay? <laughs> friends? Yes. That's what we are, and that's what we'll be. Yeah, let's go. Secret friends? Yes. <laughs> don't do me that. How about you have such a problem? I'm not denying anything, we're just friends. Outside. Well, I did think it was going to be a good idea for the car to be seen around, would it? No. Six secret lovers, right? Secret <laughs> friends, Esther. How many times do I have to tell you that? <laughs> okay, okay. Um, where's Greg? He's upstairs, doing something with his computer. Okay. All right, I'll be upstairs. I'll see you later. See you. I 
word friendship make one's heart skip bits at the sight of the other person does friendship mean thinking about the person all through the night would one be considered to be in a friendship if one dreams ceaselessly of the other person is that a poem poem will make the worst of all poems then what is it nothing just thinking aloud do you dream of me G? i think the question should be when don't i You know, man, all through our years in the university, you were of great help to me. I mean, you were just completely flawless. Of course, you know that's too way. Right. What I'm trying to say is, despite the fact that you, you come from a rich background, you didn't find that as a barrier, you know? You were so down to earth. Flattery. Flattery? Yes, flattery. That's what it says. <laughs> you know be better, man. I will never flatter anybody, let alone you. Mm. But the way you nurtured our friendship, the way you helped me out of school, you gave me money when I was broke, gave me handouts uh, when I needed. No, 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 just, just come off it. Come off it. If there's anything you want to say, just say it out. All right? Hit the nail on the head. See what I'm talking about? You know me too well. Of course I do. How many years now? Well, it's Jenny. I guess there's much. Boy, I am hooked. I guess that's much too. You know, what I'm saying is, I am like falling deeply in love with this girl and I don't know what to do. Of course having a girl like Jenny now, tell me who wouldn't? With a father like hers, who would? Tell me. You love this girl, right? <laughs> do I truly? I'm running crazy over this girl, man. Like I'm... I'm losing it. Right. Then forget about the father and face the girl. Look, once you have the girl, her father's issue follows. You seem to have forgotten what happened to me the last time. Of course, then you two were mere friends. But being lovers is a different ball game. If both of you plan well, everything will work out perfectly. Hmm. So easy for you to say. Nothing is impossible. I tell you this, my dear friend. In every battle, the constant rule is consistency. Yeah. Look around the world today and share a cheerful, friendly smile. Show the world you really care. And then go the second mile. You love speaking in riddles, don't you? One of the quotes from the great man, William Warren. Hmm. Well, another one says, your best friend is the one who brings out the best to you. Henry Ford. You read all the books, don't you? <laughs> I'm a journalist. It's part of our training. I can see that. Would you consider me your friend? I'll tell you this. Those that bring sunshine to the lives of others cannot keep it from themselves. Ah. <laughs> what? Okay, I get it. You read as well, don't you? I studied <laughs> history. So reading was part of my orientation. So tell me, who said this? To be or not to be? That is a question. Wait. Oh my goodness. Wait, wait. No. No. I can't remember. I know it. I just cannot remember. Even the three-year-old would know it. The man who has the name William, William Shakespeare. Shakespeare! I know! <laughs> Don't tell me you can't differentiate between fiction and reality. I don't know where you're getting at. I mean, it amazes me that a journalist like you cannot differentiate between love and affection. Okay. What exactly are you talking about? Your relationship with Jenny, what do you call it? Simple. Friendship. <laughs> oh, Uchi, you are kidding yourself. But I tell you this. That girl may be your whole love. 
but kidding an innocent soul is an emotional sin. Greg, what exactly are you talking about? Why don't you just search your mind and go to the immoral department and tell me how many times you've imagined Jenny in your bed? <laughs> Greg, please, please. Greg. What are you talking about? Look, just come off it. You see, my problem with you is that like, you like pretending. Yes! Look, the earlier both of you face reality, the better it is for your future. I'll be the monkey's uncle if that girl isn't dying to kiss the living daylights out of you. Okay, okay. Thank you very much, devil's advocate. Thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> but I tell you, it wasn't the devil who introduced the greatest gift of all time to man. Sex. Trust me, sweet God. Yeah, for the sole purpose of procreation. But it didn't have to be that sweet and enjoyable only to procreate. Mm. Yes. I mean, have you thought of how many times the act of sex has been perpetrated before a woman can conceive and go through gestation? You know, I feel to see where exactly you are driving at. For God so loved the world, my friend. You see, that particular phrase is also being demonstrated by the act of sex. S-E-X. And God in his infinite mercies made it affordable to all. The cleaner, <laughs> the employer, employee. <laughs> you know what, sir? You should be opening a sex school. Well, what mm. I should actually open is a reality. You're crazy. Of course. Oh, God, you're crazy. <laughs> Are you blind? Blind? How? Can't you say Uche loves you? <laughs> Esther, listen. Uche and I drew the line. Just friendship. Jenny, why punish your emotional being? How? Listen. Are you trying to tell me that you don't know that you're just as much in love with Uche as he is with you? What are you talking about, Uche? I asked. What were you doing with him? Doing with who? Damn well know who I'm talking about. I don't know who you're talking about. Then I will tell you. Yesterday evening, I was packed not too far from your house. I was hoping to catch a glimpse of you. And what do I see? Some man driving in your car. What? And worse still, you were there with him. In the car. Smiling. Looking happy. And what were you doing around my house at that time? That's not the point. The point is, what were you doing with him? I see your father couldn't get him arrested, huh? He doesn't mean to. Because the guy you saw me with, his name is Tony, and he is my cousin. Hmm. I'm serious with you, I'm telling you the truth. I am not in any relationship. supposed to be just friends. Are we? Do you believe for one second that we are just friends? Well, no. Don't say the wrong thing. are better left unsaid. And now that I've said them? That shows your lack of tact. What the hell would tact is to drive me off the path to truth? Esther, you're missing the mark here. Which is? Why? I mean, why would a girl 
I love so much with so much passion be poised to ruining everything. Ruin everything? Yes. Oh, so because... Look, look, this is Africa. This is Africa. And it is perceived that it's only a prostitute or an irresponsible woman who would force a man to, 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 to propose. I can't believe it. Are you calling me responsible? No, see, that's where the problem is. I can't call you that because I know you're responsible. Why? Why would my own girlfriend, who I know is a very responsible lady, suddenly turn rash? Why? Let's climb this rope step by step. Okay. Did this love affection sparkle because, because I was detained? Uh, I guess it's because you helped me out that day. See a lonely place where no birds move around. It's a quiet place where no crickets pop. I see a heavenly place where no mosquitoes breed. And where is this place? The real lover's creek. The real lover's creek? Yeah. It's a place across the sea. It's an island, really. Where you can be with nature, where you can look into the girl you've ever loved in your life, whisper those sweet words, I love you. Have you ever tried poetry? I never indulge in whatever I am not good at. Well, you can never know till you try. <laughs> so tell me, what's this thing about the real lover's creek? Ah, oh, it's a beautiful place. Quiet place. You could go for a picnic. Ooh. Yeah, maybe we could go there sometime this weekend. Saturday. This Saturday? Sure. We could go with Greg and Esther. What do you think? Really? Uh-huh. Wow, that would be a bang. I would swell. I can't wait. <laughs> Go away then. Thank you, sister. Whatever you call me that, you make it look as though you're 10 years older than I am. It's just 18 months, you know. Well, even if it's just uh, one minute or one second, the fact is I came into this world before. Mm. Now you, Sandy. Sandy? Sandy. Whenever you call me like that, you're on to mischief. Sandy? Wait, 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 wait. What was the assignment all about? Guess. Oh, you know I'm not good at that. Did you say Uche? Shh. Um, actually, I want to see him. Sandra, listen. I'm a woman. You're a woman too. And we both have our emotional needs. What are you talking about, Jennifer? Stop sounding like a baby. Listen. This is between you and I. Okay? Mm -hmm. 
Shu Uche doesn't get into detention. She really doesn't know the kind of father she has, does she? So my brother, man, you gotta be there. Well, what are we talking about? The picnic! Oh, the picnic, the picnic. Yeah, I forgot. Listen, I said I just found a soothing environment. A place where genuine lovers can be. Tell me about it. It's a place carved out by nature. A lover's garden. I call it the Lover's Creek. Lover's Creek? Mm hmm If you ask me, that sounds like one abode for real mischief. God, can you just knock that off your amorous mind? <laughs> Pervert! Ah, oh, please just come off it and stop pretending. Stop pretending. Listen, what is love without that sweet oil full of sweet things? <laughs> okay. You know, stop being a perfect. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Big sister, hello. Oh, okay. Where are you up to? Guess. Guess us days they usually involve coaching. Am I right? You're learning very fast, aren't you? You're a good teacher. So, where are you up to? To the galleries, the cinema, guessing, the shopping mall. Guessing. Hi, mom. Hmm. And where are you going dressed like that? I'm going to see Esther. Today. Really? Mm -hmm. And actually, I have to rush. I'll see you later. Bye, sister. Bye. Sandra. Yes, mom. Did she tell you exactly what she's up to? Mommy, mommy. What are you insinuating, mom? Sandra. I gave birth to the two of you, and I can smell mischief in this house. I just hope it is not what I'm thinking. Because if it is what I am thinking, <laughs> mm. your father was skinny in my life. Mom? Baby, what took you so long, huh? 
I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You look beautiful. <laughs> Guys, I must confess, she's too here. Oh. <laughs> hey, Jenny. Hey, Esther. Um, Jeff. Oh, Jeff is my friend. Uh, he just uh. Well, maybe it's a nice potato. What? Yeah, knowing him, it will take an amount of time to stop him from joining us at the video. Love the screen. Ooh, Greg. <laughs> All right, guys, we gotta go. Guys, guys, we gotta go. Okay, come on, let's go.
Man, I'm getting tired, bro. Come on.
Okay, I'm guessing that. Yeah. Huh? 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 Huh?
Do it proud, do it properly. Now, don't you think that should be the other way around? Ah, ah, whatever. I can see we're gonna have some boy after all. Yeah. Um, I thought I was the only Mongo Park around. And I thought I was Christopher Columbus, huh? Of this modern age. Um, Hi, everybody. I am. What's my name? Yeah? I am. I am Olu. Olu, nice. Hi, guys. And um, here is um, okay. The mother of my unborn children. Hi. And her pretty friend, Chrissy. Hi, uh, He's the father of our unborn children around somewhere. <laughs> the bikes. Okay, uh, Jeff, who says uh, marriages aren't made in heaven? Oh, yeah. Let's say that again. Hey, 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 yeah, 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 it is, I see it as predestined. You see, when a young guy of my stuff sees a beautiful lady in a lover's garden, what do you expect of me? All right, all right, all right. Do think. I quite appreciate your faith in what you see, see. Honestly, that word was don't exist in a lover's garden. Doesn't exist. Just look around, look around, look at the loo, Miss Dacking Paul, Greg, look at Gucci, they're all having fun. Let's not be the odd people out. This is I know, but they are all lovers. We just met. Exactly, and just met. But you see, it takes meeting just in us to become one soul and one body. To you, perhaps, not to me. Nothing. Oh, haven't you heard the phrase that says love at first sight, baby? <laughs> That's to you, Jeff. But to me, there is nothing like that. See, Christine, get this stuff. Come up this top of how to get me. Okay. Just look into my eyes and tell me what you see. Desperation. Desperation. Yeah, desperation. You see, desperation they say is the immediate elder brother to love. But see, Jeff, when it comes to women, it's all for the baby. It's a sleep woman. Trust me. It's a bad girl. It's gone. <laughs> Even at 30, I'm priding myself of much knowledge of the opposite sex. Never truly met me. Meaning? Meaning until I met you, you never truly knew the meaning of love. And what does it mean to you now? It means I'll go to the end of this world for you. I'll give anything for you. <laughs> anything to make you happy and very easily too, baby. That makes the two of us better. Hi. Your little one? The big one. The big one. Oh, thank God there are lots of people here. So, all we need to do is recall our village mind. Yeah. Alright, yeah. All right. guys, we'll be right back.
you have some tissue? Oh, yeah, sure. Close your eyes. Up. Come, 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 guys, come. Hey, 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 Uche, stop, stop. Where are you taking us to? Yeah. Something besides big things happened here. Like what? Something very big. Very, very big. Monkey. What? What? Yes. Then I saw them myself and I'm going to take pictures. Why? Because I'm a journalist. And if some people are stealing our crude, <laughs> it's my duty to report. Uh, what? Well, you have to go back there. Because I need the evidence. Pictures of those guys stealing our oil. If I put them here, it will make the picture of the year. Okay, I'll be the journalist of the year. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come in. Cool. Cool. Great. Cool. 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 Great. Great. What? What did she just say? Um. She said we shouldn't go. Yes. Let's go home. Hey, hey, hey! Help me out here, okay? <laughs> I want to win this award, okay? Please, let's go. I need it. Let's go.
Jimmy! Jimmy! Guys, guys, we've got to go immediately. Let's go to the car. Those guys are coming and they've got guns. Ah! Oh, 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 oh. Are you fine now? No, they're down there. Okay, let's go. Move, move, move. Come Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! Running blindly. We have, we, we have missed the way. Which way? The only way out of here is to run. It's to run away as fast as possible from those killers. Uh, That's the only way. Modano. Oh. Oh. Okay. Um, okay. Hold, hold your peace, eh? Just hold your peace. We have to find our bearing. Continue going, huh? Let's continue moving. What about Jeff? I will get out of here. We'll get the police.
Relax, they will run into us. What you worry about, Jeff? Don't worry. I'll go after him later. Um, so what, what do we do now? You know what? We need to relax. Those guys are dangerous. And they mean business. We have to apply tact. It's hide and seek from now. Oh my God. Don't worry, don't worry. Oh. Remember, the camera is very important, okay? Right. Now kick it, guys. Kick it now! Go! No, no, no. 
No! 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 Go! 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 Go away! Just go! 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 That was Jeff. What? Oh, was he Greg? Oh my god. Oh, not sure. Oh, no. Not sure. Listen, I don't think we should panic, okay? Let's just calm down. If those people get us, man, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. Of you to do your enjoyment and vamos. You're here looking for trouble. You got any? Don't sit down. Two, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Now we'll go for the rest. So you go this way. I go that way. Okay? Alright. Let's go. Place to hide. A place to hide? Yeah? Yeah. Would you take me home? Take me home now. I want to go home now. Okay, 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 okay. I will. Eventually. Promise. It's either I do that or I die trying. I'm so scared. Me too. Me too. If you cooperate with me, we'll all walk home alive.
Let me call my dad. Let me call him. He can send policemen to rescue us. It's impossible. What do you mean it's not possible? No damn network. What? For the first time, you need a bloody fall and there's no damn network. Oh, God. So, 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 what do we do now? We have to go and hide somewhere. We have to go and hide somewhere. Okay. Yeah, let's let's get to the canary. Let's go. 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 I got yours! No, she, no, she, no, she, please, please. Just tell me why I shouldn't shoot. I be
Now tell me. How many of you are involved? I said, how many? How many? Are you sure? Are you sure? I can see you there. Come on now. Come on. Come on now. Will you come on? No. Come on. Come on.
Come, let's go hide on your way. Hide? Yeah. Oh. You see, they don't know how many we are. So let's hide there. When it gets dark, we can go. Are you saying we're going to stay here till dark? Of course. Except we want them to kill us. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, Better he kills you than those cannibals on the baby. Let's go. Oh. Oh. What about Jeff? Yeah, Jeff. If only he wasn't injured. Yeah. You go stay here, okay? I'll go get him. What? Remember, he's one of us. I mean, until I'm certain we cannot help him, I can't leave him behind. But are you planning to leave us here by ourselves? Don't worry. As long as you stay here, you'll be fine. Okay? But well, what about you? I'll be all right. I have a way with situations like this. I'll go through. But you know, I can't let you go. They'll kill you out there. Jenny. You know, I was in man of war when I was in school. I am adequately trained for situations like this. I think. Okay, I'll be back. Just go on. I'll be back.
Yeah, there is. I owe you half of my life, but believe me, the other half will cease to exist if I don't drink water. You don't know exactly how I feel. My legs are dead. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I could get water for you. Okay, you guys, please be careful, okay? Quiet. Yeah. He's the best guy I've ever met. Yes, I was so scared I thought you were dead. Baby, talk about having nine lives. Oh. She, she promised to get all of us out of this place. I believe him. Yeah. He will. Guy told me that eight in the room. Eight? I don't care how many they are. One of them must escape. You bet. Let's kick it.
We are having so much fun back there at the creek. Yeah. I like you. You have time for four now? Why don't you just do that and walk away? It's too late, brother. Okay, so long. Christian. Christian. Look, we have to get out of here. Oh, well, Christian, please, please, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's get out of here. Come. Let's What's going on here? It sounds like war. That's what it is. War. Now, let's go this way, right?
How could these spineless fools have gotten Igo and Orobo? They could be armed, you know. I don't think so. Igo only got careless. God! Igo! Igo! The other two may have escaped. So let's go and know who they truly are. How do you mean? The camera. You never can tell that pictures might be here. Okay. okay. That's true. Let's take it. Yeah, it's me. Alpha 241, over. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, okay that's it. Engage. Right. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Kick it. You're not. Yes, you are. I can't believe our friends are dead. Just because I wanted some stupid photographs. <coughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Too hard on yourself. It's all my fault. If I didn't want to ease myself, and... and if Jeff hadn't fallen off the tree, why did we come here in the first place? Why? Because. Because, because what? to ask you to marry me. Will you marry me, Jack? Will you? In this place, an unforgettable place. Truly, an unforgettable nightmare. Yeah, come now, come now. Just come with me. Come now. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay, baby. It's okay. It's okay, baby. It's okay, baby. Oh. 
Sandra. Uh, yes, mommy. Oh, welcome. Where is Jennifer? Um, she's not back yet, mommy. Really? I see. I think that girl was trouble with your father. That's the thing. It's okay. I promise you, I will take you home. Okay? I don't break promises. I will take you home. Alright? It's okay. <coughs> you stay here, alright? It's okay. Water. Huh? What? Water. 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 It's late now, baby. But I promise you in the morning I'll get you water. First thing in the morning, okay? 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 I'm here. I'm here to hold me. Oh. I'll get you water. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. My God, who 
Uche! Don't touch him. I'll call the police. You said you were eight? Yes. How come we recovered only six bodies? One more body is lying dead in the bush. You said you killed two of your attackers? Yes. Where are the bodies? I don't know. Maybe their colleagues took them to cover up their act. You said you took photographs? Yes. As a journalist, why did you lose such vital evidence? That would have collaborated your story. After Jenny was shot, I was not interested in anything else. Nothing else mattered to me than to save her life. Well, they very much matter now. Did you hear what I said? I don't care! Are you aware? We're talking about the daughter of a ditch in the oil corporation. I don't bloody care. When your neck is around the hangman's rope, you did very much care. Take him away. Well, seems, seems we don't have to look for him anymore. Talk about luck. Only him survived. Yeah. Bad about ego, adorable. Well, mm. that's one of the hazards of the business. Every business has its low point, and the bunkering business is no exception. You can see that again. Yeah, we have to take it like that. It's a fact that we all miss Jennifer very much. But don't you think that journalist could be speaking the truth? What truth? That he loved her. I mean, the ring on her finger proved it. You are a woman. That is why you are so taken in by this cl clever gimmicks. But daddy, if he killed her, why did he have to come back to tell us? Exactly. <laughs> He's a journalist. He's just been smart. But he knows that wherever, wherever he hides, I will fish him out. My dear, I still think he loved her. I am a woman and I can tell when a man is genuinely in love with a woman. Susan, I want you to listen to me and listen good. If that boy had left my daughter alone, Jenny would be alive today. I don't care what anyone says. He is responsible for the death of my daughter and that is final. What if it was our daughter that did not stay away from him? Oh, he signed an undertaking. And so did Jenny. Oh!
Mommy, I believe Uchi and Jennifer were genuinely in love with each other. I know. Then you must convince Daddy to set him free. Sandra. Yes, Mommy. You don't know your father. Fuge, you. You, you are alive? You are alive? Uche, sit down. You know you escaped that massacre? Mm -hmm. You are alive? How did you escape? How? I... I can see you there! Come oh. on now! Come up! 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 Come there, okay? I'll come back for you. We have to kill every one of you. Ah, oh, okay. Just, just go, 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 go now. I'll come back for you, okay? Hi there, I'll come back and pick you, okay? I did not mind. I only got this. I, I was there when you went to carry Jeff. I remained there until my uncle came back for me. He spared my life, so I kept quiet all this while. When I saw you on TV last night being arraigned as a bunkran in Modra, 
I knew I could not let you suffer for other people's crime. I knew all the efforts you made to save Jeff and the others. You don't deserve to die. God bless you. Bless you too. You should thank your star, young man. I should be thanking her more. Well, a word of advice for you, Eugene. Whenever you have a neck around the gullet eye, save it first. Love is for fools in these modern times. Then I take it, sir, you do not know the true meaning of love. Well, that's not the point now. The point is, I want the ass of that uncle of yours. And for you, Uche, I'm sorry you have to remain with us for security reasons until we nail the corporate. Sergeant! Take him away. sympathize with your family over the death of your daughter. Jennifer was indeed a wonderful girl. Sir, I truly loved your daughter. I don't think I could ever get over her loss. Thank you very much. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm sorry, sir. Please accept my sympathy. You see, you kids of nowadays, when we, your parents, try to advise you, you should heed it. The first time I set my eyes on you, I had this premonition that evil was going to befall my daughter through you. I tried to prevent it. But you, you went behind my back. Oh, God! I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. This is one death I, I thought I had prevented. You are awake! How dare you barge into my house like that? I have to come in person. Bruno! Boss. What are you doing here? Boss, the game is hot. I disobeyed your orders. I let my niece escape, and now she has fingered me out, boss. You spared your niece and killed my daughter? I never knew she was a daughter. You mean you ordered the execution of your own daughter? How? Chief, you, you killed Jenny? How on earth was I to know that she would be there of all places? When this, this thing here informed me that some people were taking photographs. How? Candy, oh my God. You are a bunker. God, what is going on here? I am a businessman. You are you, 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 mother. You are mother. You killed Jenny. Mother. You. Chief Daniel Wu, you are under arrest. I'm sorry you have to come with us. Daddy! Daddy, why? Daddy, you have finished me. So if you knew all this while, Daniel, you have finished me. I have finished! I have finished! I have finished! Mommy, I have finished! Mommy, I have finished! What is all this? What? Daddy! Daniel, you have finished! Daniel, God, oh my God, let me tell you. So it has been here all this while. I will always love you.
you with all my life. An angel you are, and an angel you will always be. You think you remember? You actually remember? I came an hour ago and I've been waiting. How are you sure what's gonna come? Remarkable people fall in love once and you're very remarkable.